Hello, welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we're working on this Mercedes GLA 2016. Um, it's a 2.1 diesel and it's failed emissions because it's done a lot of internal runs, should we say, school run. I'm going to name it a school run, um, or even little internal workshops, whatnot. Diesels are no good for this. I'm using the iCar Soft CR Ultra P and I'm going to do a DPF regen on this Mercedes and I'm going to show you step by step on how we can do this. First thing first, hit the intelligent button. This is going to pick up the V chassis, the model, the year, and we'll work from there. So here we are, it's picked up the car, the engine, whatnot, V chassis. Yep, we're all good. And we're going to hit the diagnosis. And we're going to do a full scan as well. I'll be honest, it's, there's a lot of lighty, light bluey smoke um, around the back. Um, and I shall show you as well. So let that go through. And if we look at the back here as well, it's not the. Uh, so, so as we can see, that is the smoke we got, guys. So if, um, it's not the best of the best. It's just badly looked after. There's not been any motorway runs. It's done 101. What do we expect? So you're going to get it. If you do a lot of motorway run, you're less likely to get this issue. Uh, EGR came up on the diagnostic and the DPF as well, so it's all related to each other. But back to our topic, guys. So on this, you've got the topology mapping, which is a brilliant piece of kit, and you've got the old system list. So if we do this, um, back is irrelevant off that anyway. Um, but we shall do the DPF region and hopefully eliminate the limp mode so in reality is you'll probably get a p2463 if i remember the codes um you'll also get um dpf flight and i can't remember what the other codes are and you'll be in limp mode anyways so using this machine so i'm going to go into uh, common special functions and we're going to be in the dpf region yes okay diesel particulate filter so hit this uh, do you want to promote not to annoy a loss? So make sure, yep. Uh, start of the particle filter so you can see it's 400%. It's a lot, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Um, so we've got... It's telling us to turn the ignition on. Engine temperature. Um, okay. So it's just gonna read and calculate start combustion of engine. There we go. Okay, here we go. It's gonna start to um, raise the accelerator itself. So it's just gonna calculate its combustion so we're in the dpf region mode after that it calculated it now it says 15 minutes whatnot so each your all temperature so we'll keep an eye on these guys um and then round the back as well so as you can see it is kicking out a fair amount of um, like blowy smoke like fume type if we can see I can see it but obviously I don't know if you guys can see it as well it really is a good diagnostic machine I have to say I'll put in the link as well below you've got the camera for QR code you've got this which hooks onto the steering wheel makes life very easy um it really is a no-brainer for the price um so it does every job as well so you've got a, quite a lot of like common functions uh that you can use in this sense so like dpf injector coding there's many different functions which i've made other videos on this so you can certainly look into it as well guys so he's telling us so content fill it out or ticket that filter 174 Make sure you keep an eye on this. Make sure the engine temperature isn't like crazy. If it is, you abandon it, turn it off. Um, and I've had the bonnet up as well like that, guys. So you keep an eye on things. So as we can see, it's slowly, slowly, gradually going down. This is what we need. This is how we know the suit content's kind of burning and 
getting it chucked out at the back, but I do smell a lot of fumes, I'll be honest, it's really, really bad. No. Test result. The filler of did is two, okay, regeneration, filter can be performed driving. A component filter may not be replaced. Okay. So it's all done, it says it 95 below, which I'm sure we can nail it. We always recommend, if you can, do a motorway. It's better than a standstill. Um, but in this case, that's how that's you do it, it guys. Down. We're all done. And I'm just doing a full scan and clear as the last uh, resort to make sure that we ain't getting no fault goes back. But all good. And um, power's all there in that sense. And the full scan shall be done in a few seconds. But yeah, in the engine control module and the drive terrain, there is nothing stored, which is good news. So, like I said, that's the way to do it, guys. It's a very easy and simple way to do.